Hey YouTube, this is the third of three videos I did today. This is Cartwheel VSG CC and I'm coming at you with um, a, a video that I wanted to make for a while but now that I'm on stage three of the foods that I've been eating, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy on June 23rd um, uh, just a little over a couple weeks ago. I've been on three different phases of food eating um, prior to and then after my uh, VSG surgery. So I just wanted to share a few things that got me through. Um, I've been on three phases of eating. One is clear liquids, the second is full liquids, and now I'm on the pureed stage. So I want to talk a little bit about some things that I have found that are really helpful and I will just start in each of the phases. So the clear liquids phase, um, pretty tough, I mean not not that tough, but definitely um, I did not have a lot of luck with the can bras or the carton bras that you can get um, either at Trader Joe's, those in fact seem to have zero flavor to me or in a can at your local grocery store. The Swanson Bros, all of that stuff really had zero flavor for me. So there are a couple things that I use that I think are fantastic. Um, there was, I did not have any restrictions from my nutritionist for um, the clear liquids phase as far as sodium is concerned. These are pretty high in sodium, but that wasn't a concern, but they just tasted really good to me. So the first thing is this awesome chicken style consomme. It's actually a powder and you mix it with boiling water. This is really good. It tastes really good, very chickeny, um, gives a lot of flavor and I thought it was really, really good. The other thing that I thought was really good and this was recommended to me by a friend of mine, um, believe it or not, is this is Johnny's French Dip Au Jus. Um, I thought that that was excellent. Again, a lot of flavor. Um, this is, you want to just take a, a, tea, a tablespoonful and mix it with hot water to make bouillon. Um, but it's really good. It tastes just like French dip and it has a ton of flavor. You really like this. The other thing that I found really good was this miso soup. Now this one is, I have Asian grocery stores near me. I live in the Bay Area of California. Um, but this is really, really good. And what I did, if you can see, there's like green onion and stuff and seaweed in it. Um, I would steep the broth in that, but then leave the miso broth as is, you know, with no nothing else floating in it, whether it's the tofu or the green onions. But again, a ton of flavor um, and really good. And then finally, wonton broth. I actually have, I, I couldn't find the container of it, but I have a dried wonton soup base, bro base broth container and again I got that from my Asian grocery store and that was a ton of flavor. I really 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 liked that a lot. And then um, I'm just not a big fan of Crystal Light. I don't know why. I, I think the regular Crystal Light just tastes too... I don't know what it is. It's too sweet or it's too much. I just don't like it and I don't know if it has to do with because I think the regular Crystal Light has... Um, Splenda in it or one of the other um, artificial sweeteners. Um, I do like the ones that are flavored or sweetened with stevia. So this Crystal Light Pure, it comes in a lot of flavors, but it is it does have Truvia in it instead. And I really like this. I like all of the flavors. This one's Tropical Blend, but I really like the Strawberry Lemonade one. These are really, really good. Um, and I don't know what the, the, um, flavoring is, or it says sucralose, so I think that that is, um, Splenda, but these I found on sale, and I started stockpiling them when they do go on sale, and I think I found them when they were on sale for like $1.99 or $1.50. Um, these Mio's, 
And you want to make sure that you're getting the ones that aren't, that don't have the energy boost to them, because I think that has ginseng or caffeine or something. You just want to make sure that you're getting the regular liquid water enhancer. They're all in silver packages. I have orchard apple, strawberry watermelon. Um, my favorite is the orange tangerine, and I also love the blueberry lemonade. Those are really good and help me to get all my fluids in. Um, the other thing that I like, and I tried flavors of these, and prior to surgery, um, I liked all of them. Now, I really don't like all of them. The, the fruit punch or some of the berry ones are just way too sweet for me. But I love these vitamin water zeros. My favorite is the orange and the lemonade. They just, they're really good. They've got some vitamins in them. They're zero calories, um, but I, I love these. Along with drinking my water, I drink one of these every day. And right now, if you're um, in California, then Safeway or your Safeway equivalent, if you're in Southern California, I think has them all on sale for 88 cents a bottle, which is really good. All right, um, protein powders. This one you'll see a lot of people talk about. Um, it's good. It is Gen, Gene Pro, Gen Pro, um, and it is um, flavorless, which does not mean completely flavorless. It's not completely flavor, flavorless, but it does not add a ton of flavor to whatever you're mixing it with. I have stirred this into soups before. Um, not on your clear liquid phase, but when you're on full full liquid phase. Um, this can boost up your protein in your soups and stuff. And it is really good. And it has a ton of protein in it, 30 grams for one tablespoon. So this packs a punch, has a ton of protein in it. And it, it is very good. I ordered it off of Amazon. Um, and I'm glad that I was, uh, that I was encouraged to do that. So it is good stuff. Gene Pro. Um, however, every day I do, I found this at my local uh, nutrition store, which in the Bay Area, Active Nutrition is my favorite place to go. There's one in the Castro and there's one in Pleasanton, California. Um, and I just love their store. But I don't think they are the only ones who carry this. Um, I have one of these literally every single day and it's called Blue Bonnet whey protein isolate and the reason why I like this so much is when you're looking at the back of it um, to see what the ingredients are in it um, it's pretty I don't know if you can see this but that's the ingredients I don't know if you've looked at some of your other uh, protein drink mixes um, but this one stood out to me, number one, because it was recommended by Active Nutrition. And also, um, it is delivered from grass-fed cows, not treated with RBGH or antibiotics. Microfilter, no artificial sweeteners or flavors, no added sugar, low sodium cholesterol. It, again, is sweetened by stevia, and it's not too sweet. It's French. This flavor is French vanilla. It's 26 grams of protein per scoop, but I have added different flavors, the Tarani sugar-free syrups. Um, this is just really good stuff. I liked it before surgery. I love it after surgery. I, I mean, I'm by no means a nutritionist, but I like things that have a teeny paragraph of ingredients that I can read, and it just seems to me that this one's a really good one, and I love it. And it's natural French vanilla, vanilla flavor. So look this up if you don't have it in your local nutrition store. I know they do sell it on Amazon, um, but I highly, highly, highly recommend this. This I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sticking with this a long, long time. It's really good. All right. Then, when I got into full liquids, again, soups, I looked at soups that were on this grocery store counter, looked at things that I could grind up in the blender and then strain. Um, some were okay, some were not okay. This one, by far, on the two weeks that I was on full liquids, was far and above my favorite. 
I absolutely love this and I'll still eat it. And it's called Pacific Organic Cream of Chicken Condensed Soup. It, this was in my local grocery store. I think they sell it at Walmart. Um, check around. This is really, really good stuff. It has, for half cup serving, it has 14 grams of protein um, and 90 calories. And to boost the protein with this, besides the Gen Pro, and this is found in a lot of grocery stores. This is another one of my favorite things. I'm in California, so Safeway is my local grocery store. But I know that Kroger's and some of the other grocery store chains carry this, and that is a high-protein milk. They call it dairy beverage. But just so you know, this is Reduced Fat Lucerne Protein Plus. Um, it has, for one cup, 130 calories, 13 grams of protein, and 8 grams of carbohydrate. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's got far less sugar in it than regular milk does and a protein boost, 13 grams per cup. So I mix this with this Pacific cream of chicken, which is so good, really, really good, good, good soup to give it a protein boost. And then, um, and like I said, you, you'll really try it. You'll really, really like it. Um, some other things that I'm going to tell you were a miss and were a hit. It, I, I'm not going to jump up and down over this, but I have to tell you that um, if you look at some of food halls, in fact, um, Lauren Losing was the one that I saw that did a review on this. It is called Arctic Zero. So Arctic Zero is a ice cream alternative. And I have two flavors. I have one that's a chocolate peanut butter that's 35 calories per half cup, I think, per serving. This is a pint, so there's four servings, or 150 calories for the entire thing, and this is chocolate peanut butter. The other flavor I have is their creamy version, and it's called Cookie Dough Chip, and it's 75 calories per serving, 300 for the entire thing. Um, this is far less, the numbers are far greater than if you had gotten even like low sugar ice cream or anything. Um, I'm looking at the cookie dough chip and it has 3 grams of protein per serving, 3 grams of fiber, 11 grams of carbohydrates, 2.5 grams of fat. I mean, clearly it's an ice cream alternative and the stats mean that it's better for you. However, this one... No. I mean, I paid so much for this. It was, and by the way, they're not cheap. Um, I think Walmart sells them for $4.50 or $4.75 a pint. Um, my local nutrition store sold them for $5.45 a pint. This flavor, um, I'm going to be using it to maybe add to my smoothies because I heard that that's a good alternative and I feel guilty about throwing something out that was $5.75 a pint. But as far as flavors concerned, don't bother. I mean, I it, to me, it tastes nothing like chocolate peanut butter, and I've given it two or three tries. So this one, not good. This one, better. I mean, it has more than double the calories, but this one's better, but it all depends on the scoop that you get of it. There are little teeny chunks of cookie dough that's in here, and if you get a taste of it, with the cookie dough chunk, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, it's nothing like Ben and Jerry's chocolate cookie dough, but it's something. You know, it, it's it's palatable, but I wouldn't jump up and down about it. Um, I've heard that the key lime and the strawberry are much better. I'm going to be trying those, and I'll get back to you and let you know how I feel about those. But these are pretty expensive. Um, as I said before, the chocolate peanut butter don't waste your time this one's a little better but again I'm not sure if, if I can wholeheartedly thumbs up recommend it but it, it's pretty okay now I will tell you that I was at my grocery store outlet which is our bargain grocery store here in California and look what I found today Arctic Zero vanilla chocolate dipped little ice cream alternative cordial. It's 80 calories. 
the stats are 80 calories, 5 grams of fat, carbohydrates 7 grams, dietary fiber 2 grams, and 3 grams of protein. This, out of the three, was the best one. So if you want something that's going to satisfy your little ice creamy, sweet toothy kind of thing, I'd pick this one. And it was a great price. I got it at a grocery store outlet. I, I don't even know what I paid for it. Two dollars? Bought it this morning. So yeah, this was much cheaper. So look in your discount grocery stores. If you guys have a grocery outlet, this look for this. This one by far was really good. All right, and then finally, some things just as a, sorry if this is too much information, but some things that I wholeheartedly recommend. Yeah. This is the CVS alternative to Miralax, and I will tell you that from the minute they gave me water in the hospital post-op to now, I have had Miralax in it. And because of that, I have not had any constipation whatsoever. I've been pretty regular. Um, it, it's gentle. It doesn't give you stomach cramping. It's It doesn't happen overnight, too. So you have to have a few doses of this for it to kick in. Um, but my nutritionist has said that it's completely safe for you to use on a daily basis. I have started to up the fiber in my diet now that I'm on pureed foods, and that has been helpful. Um but until I get the green light from my nutritionist, I will keep on keeping on with this. So highly recommend Miralax in your water every day. Just, just do it. I mean, nobody wants to be constipated. And then the other thing is I have some sugar-free fiber supplements. I got these from uh, Walmart. And they've got, um, they're sugar-free and I think two tablets is how many grams of fiber? Seven, no, four grams of fiber for two tablets. And I have these as well. And again, they help a whole lot. Um, one more thing that I want to point out, if you haven't gone to Celebrate Vitamins, it's Celebrate, I think it's, yes, it's Celebrate, the word CelebrateVitamins.com. They have a $3 sample pack. And I have to tell you, talk about a generous sample pack. So you pay $3, they ship you all of these different samples of different vitamins and things, and then they give you a coupon code for $3 off if you order their vitamins. Um, this was awesome. I'm still working my way through the samples, and I ordered this the minute I got back from surgery. So I've had it for two weeks, and it was shipped pretty darn fast. So um, I like the flavor of their vitamins. I think it's a great deal, and it's pretty much free if you use the coupon. And last but not least, when you're in the hospital, cannot stress this enough, you need lip balm. You need, you're going to have cotton mouth like you've never had dry mouth before. And this little baby, my Eos Mint, saved my life, and I still carry it around with me. So get yourself a really good lip thing that you like because trust me, you're going to need it. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that you try some of the things that I told you. Um, and good luck. And if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Take care, everyone. Bye.